So, another day working on the trailer here, and uh, here you see we got my trim clad yellow. And we're going to paint the, the sides and the top of the trailer some yellow here. So, there we have it. So I'm going to mix this up a little bit more and we'll carry on. Oh, there you see the section we've just done. Uh, looks good, eh? Same with that bit of a side there. So, now we're gonna tr try painting the sides here. Well, <clears throat> as you can see, we got most of the tongue painted this side. But not that side, but this side of the trailer, all painted up nice and good. Even half the back. Still got a little bit here, and uh, this trailer was supposedly made in Windsor, Canada here. Um, it says Windsor, Ontario. I think it says uh, Morris or Hortis or something trailers. If anyone knows more, I mean, let me know about that one numbers are pretty well faded so you can't make any of them out bit of grass here clean that off and now we have to paint this side of the trailer so we'll give her a coat of paint and give you an update first coat of the uh, yellow trim clad here and uh, I must say it's looking pretty good there so once this is dry, we'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll give her another coat and we'll try to get a first coat on the bottom side too. And you see I did some of the rails there, the cross pieces, even the inside a little bit, give it a bit more of a seal there since this is an actual paint there and not a primer, it should give it a bit more protection there. And the duct tape is covering up the holes for the plywood to go through the bolts and, uh, giving a bit of an oil treatment there and we'll probably do the same for uh, the other three so all in all the trailer looks pretty good 